A very good morning, it's Fabio and welcome back to the Daily Market Outlook. Euro, dollar, gold and the major dollar pairs are to be discussed. So Euro USD first of all saw a strong bullish candle close yesterday which was in line with the overall long that I took and shared inside the community. This could link in the description down below. Now overall we can still see that the fractal structure is bearish in towards the downside and this is just part of the overall pullback in towards the highs. However, this is when we talk about fractal structure. And fractal structure is a structure based on the individual candlesticks. If we look at the overall swing in price, which is obviously going to be stronger, then we can very clearly see that the market is still bullish in towards the highs. This was just a pullback before that next potential leg up higher. So this is how I would draw the Fib. And what you can then very clearly see is that we pull back in towards 0.5 slash 618. And from there, we've seen a push up higher. Now. When looking at supply and demand, because obviously we did have an area of supply situated over here and we are still inside that area of supply in order to validate this area of supply and to validate this overall fractal downtrend, we need to understand what the lower time frame is doing, because we can obviously just start shorting from this area of daily supply with your stops above the highs but what you need to understand obviously is number one where is the market where is price price is obviously inside a discount so it is preferable to go long it's not a very good shorting opportunity then second of all to validate the shorts we need to go into the lower time frame and understand if the trend is shifting there as well if we then went in towards the four hour time frame obviously we can see swing high swing low impulse down pullback but then again there is no indication of any slowdown inside this supply zone now again we're slowing down inside this supply zone over here but obviously again it's similar to what happened over here the market is just stalling right so it doesn't mean straight away okay this is a good short no, now we need to see a shift in the market structure i am still in a long on your usd and i will only get out if i start understanding that the market wants to head bearish now how will i understand that the market is ready to shift bearish well obviously here we have a fractal high again then boom 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 this is how i would like to look for a short if we see a market structure shift inside this extreme area of supply which is also inside a daily supply and which is in line with the four hour bearish trend but if we just see the bullish market structure continue then we just stay out we do not engage in any shorts until then that is my opinion and that is what works for me now looking here at the one hour time frame very simple again what you saw yesterday was a clear 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 here boom break in towards the highs then what happens you just retest the entire cell for the buy a lot of momentum and then <clears throat> we shoot up in towards the highs now the market has been ranging uh, mainly due to uh, the numbers that we have coming out today on core retail sales and retail sales so keep an eye on those those are at 2 30 central eastern time so what i'll be doing is i'm going to be waiting uh, inside of this long this long is obviously running with stops in profit i have my stops now around here underneath the range so what i'm now looking for is for your usd this morning just to push up in towards the highs and yeah take out this liquidity high over here that is the next move for me on your usd and uh, yeah that's what i'll be waiting for until then uh, just wait uh, if we look here the, the one hour is still yeah, let's say fractal bullish is still bullish Four hour over here is also just still with the upside momentum. So there's no reason for me to get out of this position only if we break this high and then, for example, break the low, which broke that high over here. Only then will I be interested in shorting from the then, uh, from the then created area of supply. So that's your USD for me. Um, yeah, no shorts until we really see the four hours start to shift. Obviously, a lot of strong bullish momentum in towards the highs. So again, with such a daily candle close, I'm not really interested in getting shorts just based on what the one hour or the 15 minute time frame is doing. So going into the dollar index, and this is an additional confluence for myself. If we look at the dollar index over here, you can very clearly see that we have a lot of trend line liquidity and also swing low liquidity. So this means over here that we have one, two, Three, that is why the market is currently stalling. But for me, a third trend line touch is more kind of like an indication that we could actually push down lower. Next to that, we have a liquidity low. So what is a liquidity low? A liquidity low is, for example, a low where a strong impulse away originates from. And then you see other lows forming very close to that specific low as well, indicating that there's a lot of stops underneath the lows of people who are, for example, longing on this third trend line touch. So that's what I'm waiting for at the moment on uh, yeah, the dollar index. Um, yeah, liquidity grab and then I'll pretty much just wait and see what happens underneath the low. 
Now, moving on into Aussie dollar, what is happening over there? So Aussie dollar itself has been pushing up higher. Remember what I mentioned in yesterday's video, I was not looking for any shorts despite us being inside this area of supply. Now, what has happened is again, very clean fractal structure. This is your fractal high here, the blue line, indicating to me that this is then the demand zone or the imbalance candle, which broke that fractal high. If you have a problem with understanding what imbalances are or what supply and demand is, use the 50% body candle indicator and then just look for an engulfing candle after it, which achieved something. So this achieved a fractal break. Then what do we happen or what do we see? We see a pullback and then a push out again. So a very clean push in towards the highs again. So at the moment, what I'm just gonna be waiting for is to see, okay, is the order flow going to remain bullish? At the moment, this is still your fractal low. Only if that low breaks, because again, obviously we are bearish guys in towards the downside, but only if the fractal structure breaks, will we then be looking for a short. Otherwise, the bullish momentum could just continue up higher and higher. Again, what are we seeing? We see here, down below, and Aussie dollar has been the best example ever. Down below, over here, this is the first fractal break in towards the upside. So we see the push up, we see the pullback over here. Then again, we see the pullback, push up, then we see the pullback in towards the month. Then again, we see the pullback, we see the push up, pullback in towards the entire sell before the buy over here. And then again, a push up, pullback, and now again, a push up. So yeah, Aussie dollar has been acting beautifully. Uh, obviously, I would be interested in shorts, but only if we break the blue line. Uh, until then, we could just continue up higher and higher, okay? So that's what you need to understand. If we break this blue line, I'll obviously be more aggressive on looking for longs, as then the fractal structure will also just align on the daily. But for now, also just following the four hour order flow up, not interested in shorts, guys. If we see the break of structure, then obviously, um, yeah, that would be another bullish indication for further longs in line with the daily fractal structure, the four hour fractal structure slash order flow. Now, if you have any questions about what I'm saying, make sure to join Discord as I'm happy to answer all your questions over there. Going into GPUSD, so pound dollar is a little bit dirty um, in the sense that, okay, we do have a fractal high over here. Uh, so this is a fractal high. Now we've retraced in towards the demand zone. Again, if you wanna understand exactly why, watch yesterday's video. This is your entire sell before the buy. We come in and then we move back out again. So what I'll be trying to understand is, okay, are we ready to now break the fractal high, pull back and then just continue up higher to start grabbing liquidity above, for example, this swaying high over here and push up even higher in towards those upper areas of supply as well. So that is uh, based on what I see on the daily. Now, again, we just simply go in towards the four hour to understand what is happening. So on the four hour time frame, what I'm looking at is I see, okay, again, the overall order flow is still bullish. What I'm waiting to understand is to see, okay, despite us having, let's say, a bearish trend over here, right? This is the impulse down, this is the pullback. And with the daily fractal structure, and with the daily fractal structure, again, I just mean structure on individual candlesticks, both being bearish, shorts are interesting. However, shorts only get interesting when we see confirmation of bearish momentum. Because as you can see, if we were to short on this liquidity high, you see this small move, but nothing really, or even this area of supply. Then again, we're now inside an area of supply, but how do we validate that area of supply? We validate it by seeing a shift in market structure. So what I'm now waiting for is for a break of this high, then a push down, and then I'll only be interested in a short, for example, back down in towards this demand zone. So that's what I'm waiting for at the moment. <laughs> only then will I be interested in a, uh, in a short, Otherwise, for me, no trade on GPUSD. Going into NZD USD, um, so NZD USD was actually one of the more beautiful ones for sure, uh, just because it was so, so clean. Uh, overall, the daily is swing bullish, okay guys? So that's where we start. So the daily is swing bullish, and what you need to understand is that this is your impulse up. We then see the retracement down, what happens? We liquidate the low over here. So the market is that bullish that doesn't have to pull back in towards this demand zone. So how do I understand that this is the liquidity low and that the market is that bullish that doesn't need to pull back in towards here? Well, it's because I see a market structure shift. So if we look at the individual candlesticks, once again, what do we see? We see a low break, we see a high break. This to me is a market structure shift on the individual candlesticks. So this is your fractal structure shift. So you get the push up, you get the pullback in towards this demand zone of this sell candle over here with that bearish candle. And then from there, we shoot up higher again. And this is literally the setup that I explained in the live session on Friday. So you can watch it back. Um, so now if you don't like trading the daily or the, uh, the daily, then go into the four hour time frame. And then what you see on the four hour time frame is again, 
the exact same setup but then on the lower time frame so what happened is that we see here a break then here a break and then what happens we retest this sell for the buy and then from there we shoot up higher so i missed this initial entry over here uh, which you could have taken as you can see you could have already been up around 1.3 percent so then i was looking to still get engaged and that's why i took a long over here then going into towards the 15 minute time frame what do we see happening again we see a shift in market structure so break of the low here break of the high here so the market is bullish do we always need to pull back in towards this demand zone no we do not because if the market is extremely bullish it would just pull back slightly and then just continue up higher so how did i understand that the market was ready to pull up higher a double break so first break second break market pushes up uh, and that's when you get engaged so as you can see this demand zone held beautifully and we're just consolidating waiting for news um so yeah that is uh, that is that so waiting on ncd usd still expecting further further upside but of course the news could change everything on this um i would only be interested in shorts if we were to break structure over here because now this is your trend right so i'd only be interested in shorts after breaking this low otherwise still i would just only be looking for longs Going in towards gold, our last pair. So gold is actually starting to become a little bit more interesting at the moment. Excuse me, it is consolidating and waiting for news. Uh, yesterday, there was some shorting opportunities. Remember what I mentioned over here, we had this area of demand. So you can see initially that demand zone held very well, going towards the one hour again, and I just need to change the zone. But initially that demand zone held very well, going towards the one hour time frame, and you can see how beautifully we came in and pushed back out again, but then we broke through it and now the market is just consolidating. So what I'm now waiting for is to understand are we gonna move up higher or lower? At the moment, it's just a uh, guessing game. It's just stuck inside this range. So I would not really engage with gold at the moment. I would wait uh, and see if we get another break in towards the downside. At the moment, this is your fractal structure. This is the initial fractal break that got broken by the high of that bearish candle. Then again, what happens? We see another fractal break in towards the downside. But then again, this is now your bullish fractal break. So it's just consolidating. There's no reason to trade it. Uh, it's stuck so just wait for a clean break in towards the downside if you want to engage in any shorts i will be waiting have an amazing day guys thanks for joining and see you tomorrow